Well, I'm going to bring it to some kind of uh, healthy place. <laughs> healthy. healthy, happy pa- place. Let me say a, a gracious place. Okay. Why? Because we're talking Grasa Michelle and uh, thought, Tata you, Madiba, Nelson you were Mandela. Say Jesus Christ. And... Oh, coming up. There's, oh, really? There's one about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one about that. Coming up, there will be a relationship themed about the big J. Stay tuned. <laughs> But right now, Warren's going to tell you about the new epi lady, ladies. Go and, go and use an epi lady uh, in, in a warm bath to Romeo yourself. <laughs> Worst adverts ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, lovely uh, fact that that um, he found true love and happiness at the age of eighty, Nelson Mandela. No, not Jesus in, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 um, the it was his third marriage. Uh, I was, I was going to question you to see if you knew about his first marriage. Do you know about his first? Yeah, Evelyn? yeah. He, okay, he cheated on her with with old Winnie. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> eh? Yeah, you can read between the lines. He was still married when when he uh, met Winnie. Yes, um, and then there was Winnie, and then there was after he was released from prison. There was the the dear Dali letters and that sort of thing, and the divorce and stuff. And I, th- yeah, who knows? Don't want to get into it too deeply, but maybe expected her to stay faithful for those years and she, she didn't and then sort of couldn't and then I don't know. Anyway, divorce and then Grassa. Lovely. I mean, listen, if you can't stay faithful to Nelson Mandela, <laughs> who are you going to be able to stay faithful to? Like, no one. No one. Um, and, uh, and, Grasa Michelle, of course, was um, the only woman in the world to be the first lady of two countries. Mm. Yes, because Samora Michelle uh, was Mozambique. Her, yes, uh, 1986, he was killed in a plane crash. Mysterious, mysterious circumstances. Yeah, well, um, he was doing loop the loops in his mig. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my my uh, fact is around the first time they met. Uh-huh. So she uh, finished university in Lisbon. Uh, she had a scholarship, join, came back to Mozambique, joined uh, Frelimo, who uh, through that the feels help. like a poor, poor career choice. Oh. You know, do you think they were advertising in the newspaper, looking for junior intern <laughs> for gun shooting and much more? Long hours, <laughs> low pay. <laughs> Good on your resume. <laughs> so, University students only need a fly. <laughs> I would have stayed in Lisbon. Mind you, Mozambique's lovely. Um, maybe not back then with the Civil War, but besides that. Um, so some, uh, they were being helped by the Soviets uh, to smuggling arms, and it was around then when uh, the um, movement, the struggle, went into an armed struggle and he met her in Mozambique Nelson. acquiring weapons. Nelson Mandela met uh, Grass and Michelle in Mozambique acquiring uh, weapons for the armed struggle from Frelimo via the Soviets. Uh, that was the first to, time they to, met. I need to put my beer down for this joke. Yeah. It's love at first sight. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> hey? <laughs> so that's my fact. Uh, they yeah. met uh, for the first time in Mozambique, doing, um, a, doing an arm deal. Yes, yes, yes. Some, uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know. There's something amazingly toxic about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, and it's quite clear. This like, is the uh, gracious love couple. No, but it's quite clear that uh, that Nelson's not. Um, he's not wild for the the kind of quiet, boring chicks. <laughs> You know, he likes he likes the, the firebrands, mm. um, but I don't know. So yeah. then Nelson spent twenty seven years thinking about Grasa in his cell, yeah. and then he got out and he was like, "Sweet, her husband's there." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then and then you saying then they got together. It was like it was like a Camilla Parker Bowles Prince Charles type of thing, right? Like yeah, how, they, how there was how something was, once, yeah, and then. He was isolated from her yes. due to constraints. During, due to during, during married, <laughs> marrying the most beautiful woman on the planet. Due, due to controlling white people, making him do things he doesn't want to do. <laughs> That's why I understand the oppression of colonialism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not a bad Prince Charles oh, impersonation, shame. I'll tell you what. Oh, um, 
Oh. Yeah, all right. So, so now that we've established Nelson, oh, jeez, do we have no line in this podcast? It's disgusting. Anyway, all right. So, so yes, what was yes, your yes, one yes, about, yes, it's true. Was your one about about ninety five? Oh, Nelson Mandela died at ninety five, which is ten kilometers an hour faster than James Dean. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> okay. yeah. So my fact was uh, they met uh, during an arms deal, uh, or if you like, or during that time of the, the armed struggle uh, in Mozambique when she was with Frelimo and he was with the underground mm, ANC and Contra West Seaswe. Sweet. Going to say he he, he fired shots. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the best I can do for things? Well. Um, I am lying, uh, oh, and I, was, I thought the dates might catch you there a little bit. I didn't know the dates. I don't know yeah, the dates. Was, I think I, I think I think uh, Ravonia trial was uh, around sixty three, and I think she um, would have come back from Lisbon to to Mozambique in early seventies and stuff. So if the Ravonia trial was sixty three, the arms yeah. struggle was maybe even. So early she was. 60s. She was. Uh, Sugar baby. Yeah, she was much younger than him. Yeah, at nice. About twenty odd years. Nice, Nelson. But um, you know what's lovely is uh, I just got to describe. I, I got to read you some of the words that he has written about Grasser. Okay. But Nelson has written about Grasser. I cannot describe. I won't do it in the accent. <laughs> no, wait, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Here are the words that he has written to describe Grasser. I cannot describe. <laughs> nice. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. And I'll do it not in his accent, which I used to do no, in my stand up. No. Don't. Okay. Everyone did it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I cannot describe my joy and happiness to receive the love and warmth of such a humble but gracious and brilliant lady, Mandela wrote at the time. It gives me unbelievable comfort and satisfaction to know that there is somebody somewhere in the universe on whom I can rely, especially on matters where my political comrades cannot provide me uh, speaking to a tv interviewer he added i'm in love with a lovely lady i don't regret the reverses and setbacks because late in my life i'm blooming like a flower because of the love and support she's given me this makes me want to cry um uh, and <laughs> this is funny in 1998 aged 80 and 52 respectively that's 27 28, 28, 28 27 28 27. they bought a house together and married archbishop desmond tutu they who married had... archbishop desmond <laughs> tutu wow this thing this thing was pretty open okay. i did not know that the bish so the married arch... nelson and grasser that's insane so the arch uh, are the things you can learn uh he uh the archbishop who had previously complained about them living in sin. <laughs> the man's the man's a beacon of hope for the Western world. Who, Don't Arch worry about him living in sin. He deserves anyway. Yeah, if anybody if anybody deserves to live in sin. Yeah. Uh, but he said at the wedding, Grasser has made a decent man out of him. <laughs> Arch very funny. really. Arch. That's very funny. That's very sweet. That's yeah. so um yeah, so the fact was wrong, I was being a dick. Uh no, they they met for the first time uh, after he was released from prison, there was an uh, an occasion because she's a very lauded individual. Mm, she's mm. on so many boards and so many things, yeah, and yeah. and they met at some event in 1990, and then again uh, numerous Do you think times. That she met him on one of those prison pen pal sites. You know, you can send <laughs> you can send letters to a prisoner, <laughs> like, like in the back of the U magazine or something. An <laughs> advert there. Nelson says he likes lying in his cell and and hard labor, chipping away at rocks and talking to his friends <laughs> about politics. <laughs> Write to Nelson now at at, at four double six six four Robin Island. <laughs> <laughs> you so are you sure what when did you start at people magazine that, was, <laughs> that sounds very back pages people yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> <laughs> nice i'm glad that they found they, they found, found each love. other yeah man that sounds good it gives us all hope yes 